first step in uh, creating your uh, Discord crypto bot is you will need to go to the uh, developer portal uh, for Discord and you will need to click a uh, new application. It's called this crypto bot. Once that is done, we will go to the bot under settings and we will add our bot to the application. Once that is set up, we will need to get our bot token. Uh, we will need this for later so our bot can communicate with uh, certain Python libraries that we'll be using later in our main script. So after that is copied, we will add that to our uh, secret uh, py file. Uh, and then now we will go to our uh, URL generator and we will need to select bot and application dot commands. Uh, we will need that option later for creating our slash commands for our bot. Add admin privileges and then we will copy and paste that into a new browser. Then we'll add that to our uh, trading signals uh, discord and we'll authorize it. Slip I'm human and then we can now we have our bot instead of our Discord uh, server, um, trading signals. Uh, now we will need to um, get our guild ID and our channel ID and add that to our Python, uh, our secret.py file. So the way we will do that is we will right click and copy our ID from our guild, paste it into our guild ID. and right click our uh, channel copy that ID and paste that into our channel ID once that is done we will then uh, see take a look at our uh, main.py file now from here we will um, import our uh, secret.py this will have our bot token and our guild ID um, and and our channel ID. Uh, we will need this when we instantiate our uh, bot app objects from the uh, Hikari light bulb uh, uh, library. For that, we will also import our uh, custom uh, Python script called Coin. Uh, what this will do is actually will communicate with our Coinbase Pro API. Um, as you can see, we just created our uh, Coinbase Pro uh, public client object, and we are then calling this 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 object to uh, get all of our available uh, products. Uh, what this means by uh, products, it means all of our available trading pairs on our Coinbase Pro API, and then converting that into a pandas data frame. For that is set up, we will create our um, it will then spit out a, a CSV file, a CSV file of all of the available trading pairs, uh, as you can see right over here, pair labels. This is what will be spit out to our uh, Discord server, kind of as an example for what this bot could do. And all this method does is it just reads in our uh, newly created uh, data set of trading pairs. Once that is set up, we import our um, Hikari and our light bulb um, libraries. I think we're only going to be using the light bulb for this video, but we still have the the uh, basic Hikari uh, library. Um, and then we create a brand new uh, coin object. We're going to use this for later for showing the uh, available trading pairs. Um, once that is set up, we will create our uh, light bulb bot app object. Um, it will set up our bot token and our guild ID uh, created from, from before. Um, after that, we will then uh, call, well, we'll set up our first method uh, list pairs. Now, 
this uh, method is actually special because it, ha it has um, multiple uh, decorators on on it to uh, signify that it is a bot command. So the way that this is uh, de determined to be a bot command is with our uh, first decorator. Um, as you can see, it says bot command. And um, this is going to be a special command that has um, options. So we'll have this uh, decorator. Uh, first, it will say we'll have a, a variable uh, where our uh, the uh, choice that the user makes will be stored in. And it will have a prompt for the user. A uh, It could be USD, it could be USDT. Use the coin. It's, it's, it's going to be one of these options, and it will be returned as a type uh, string. After that, we have our uh, next decorator, uh, lightbulb dot command. Um, this is probably the uh, one of the uh, first things that the user sees. It kind of sees what uh, you know, basically what the command is. Uh, it's list pairs. Uh, so this is what you would be typing into the Discord server. And it will also have a little uh, prompt that will say what the command does. After that, we have our last decorator, uh, the slash command. This will basically import our, um, our command as a slash command. So you would use uh, the forward slash operator to uh, run this basic command. As you can see here, we call our, uh, you know, our coin objects that was created here, and lists all the available trading pairs that that we just uh, found out from Coinbase Pro API. And uh, now we just have our if statements. Uh, these if statements will spit out the uh, different available trading pairs uh, depending on what the user picks. Uh, for our base currency option. So uh, now that that is explained, we will now run our uh, script. There we go. And if you got this message, that usually means uh, that the that the that the bot is is working. Uh, we can come back to our server, and as you can see, our crypto bot is running. So we will now list our pairs. As you can see, we have our uh, name of our uh, co command, lists all available trading pairs on exchange. So that's also our prompt. So we hit tab, and now we have our uh, our, ver our our option variable uh, base currency, and we can select one of the following: USD, uh, USD Tether, and USD Coin. So let's see all of the available uh, trading options for USD coin off of Coinbase Pro. So, so as you can see, we have uh, Mana. I think this is Decentraland. We have Bitcoin. We got Car uh, Cardano. Uh, that doesn't really seem like a whole lot of different options. So let's go back to our code here. Uh, as you can see, we have USD Tether. And we got USD. So let's see. Uh, let's see what the available options are for USD. So we hit list pairs. We, we press tab to fill in our uh, option, and now we will select the USD. Now, as you can see, we have quite a few more options. Uh, you will also see that uh, the uh, message has been split up into multiple different. Uh, messages. Uh, the main reason why is because the Hikari light bulb uh, library has a maximum uh, character limit of about uh, 2,000 characters. So the way I figured out to get past this is to split it up into um, a bunch of different uh, messages, which isn't ideal. It doesn't really look as pretty, but we have all of our available trading pairs. Um, and if we, we really wanted to uh, scan through this, we could just hit Control F and see if we could find, um, you know, whatever we wanted to uh, to a trade. So let's see if we could get 
Ethereum USD on here. Oh, it doesn't seem okay there. So, so as you can see, we can trade Ethereum on Coinbase Pro. Um, let's try uh, Polygon. Uh, let's do Matic. Yeah. As you can see, we also have Matic, so we can trade that on our exchange as well. Um, yeah, like I said, this is just the uh, first video uh, of the uh, series. So, in the uh, next video, we will look at um, more use cases for this bot. Uh, maybe being able to list all of our current uh, positions on the Coinbase Pro exchange, or uh, may maybe we could even have a look in, in, into the order book. Um, that, that all depends on what the next video is going to uh, look like.